Gabi. This is Malik Matthews. He's your average guy. He gets up in the morning, puts his pants on one leg at a time, and goes to work. But what makes Malik so special? Not a goddamn thing, actually. He's broke, his job sucks, his apartment sucks. He has no special talents or skills. He's short and that sucks. And his girlfriend, Lisa, is a bitch. When we gonna get a new place? I'm so tired of living in a shitty ass apartment. Hello, nigga bitch, do you hear me? When you gonna get some ambition? Huh? Have a dream. Set a goal. I need to be with a man who can give me the life that I deserve. Are you gonna eat that sandwich or nah? You know, when I met you, you was on the corner. I was like, oh, this nigga a thug. He probably got some bank. He cool. You're a fucking sign spinner. You don't even spin the top signs. You're not spinning for Jiffy Lube or a fucking Burger King. Who the fuck is Roscoe Sells? Who the fuck is that nigga? He can't give you shit. He got beepers. Get a paper route, my nigga. Get something. Little does Malik know, the beef Lisa used to make those sloppy joes is ground black Angus beef. But not just any black Angus beef. Clearance black Angus beef. Malik was so sick that he began to suffer from severe hallucinations. This night storm, for example, isn't real. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. Even though Malik felt he was about to die that day, he wouldn't be sick for long. Oh, shit. I forget something. Oh shit, he did die. Wake up, nigga, bitch! Can't leave me with no money! I need, I, I don't wanna have no food there. You can't, you can't, you can't die, nigga, bitch! Come, come on, go! But that didn't last long. In fact, the next morning, Malik was feeling strong Woo. as an ox. I feel strong as an ox. Just as Malik was thinking the day was going to be a good one, he's approached by a few young thugs. Oh yeah. I'm gonna definitely take you to dinner. What you doing around these parts? Man, I thought today was gonna be a good one. Now I'm being approached by a few young thugs. See, this is what I need you to do. I need you to strip and give me everything you got. No need to get violent, fellas. Okay, here you go. That's all I got. That's yours. All right. Where you going? I wanna see them butt baby hairs get naked. Dude, I really have to, I just gave you all of my stuff. You talking about he give me everything I got. You see what his hand's doing? I need your bottom to do that. Hey boys, get him naked. Make it pop. Make it clap. Come on, man. Come on, I ain't got nothing but love for you. Come on, man. Turn him around. Hold on, gonna make me lick my lips. Lick him. All right, okay. Oh, shit. This dude's strong as an ox. That's kind of sexy, but I'm gonna get him out of here. Hey, fellas, get the fuck up. Let's get the fuck out. All right, come on. Come, get, let's get on up out of here. All right. Come I said get, get out of here. Right here with you. Malik discovers those old rotten sloppy joes gave him super strength, speed, agility, and enhanced senses. Malik finally had the power to change his life forever. Breaking news, America. No longer Malik Matthews, old regular ass dude. Nah. Nah, Black Angus. Come holla at me, ladies. I guess that's his costume? I never said one of his powers was imagination. Nonetheless, Black Angus the superhero was born. Normally when a person is granted superpowers, they conceal their identity and live a selfless life of helping others. Not Black Angus. He was definitely in it for the fame. Yo, what took you so long to get here? There was 30 more people in the building. I know, it sucks. But uh, at least I saved you though, right? Yeah, I, I guess. Th thank you for saving me, Malik. Oh man, it's no problem. Call me Black Angus. And don't forget to tell people how good I saved you. In fact, let me, uh, while you're sitting there, let me, um, not rob you. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. Does that for me a little bit? Here we go, here we go. Ready, ready. Ah, yeah, there we go. Make sure you tag me on uh, Instagram. And also find me on Facebook and Twitter, at the Black Angus, T-H-E-E, -E, Black Angus. All one word, baby. 
you just gonna leave me here? Are you deaf? I told you it's over! You better stop throwing them goddamn lemons, girl! <sighs> Just tell me why we ain't together no more. Oh, you want to know why we're not? First of all, you wear underwear when we have sex. Who don't do it? First of all, I like putting my dick out through the slit and keeping my balls warm. It's weird, and don't talk about your balls while I'm throwing lemons at you. If I can't have you, nobody can. I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> what the? What's happening, boy? You got beef? You little squirrel in the trees, huh, nigga? What that beef? Man, what you going to do with that besides make me mad? Nigga, I'm about to give you bison three different ways, nigga. <laughs> nigga, stay still. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, you like that? I'm about to break your face, nigga. <laughs> ah, nigga, please. Nigga, please let go. Oh, That's impressive, huh? Pretty I impressive. think I deserve it's a pass impressive. for that. Yeah, you get what you want, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, uh, you get let me give him a little clap. Oh, let me give him a clap for that. Uh, uh, you better clap him. Clap him better than that. Oh, why you laughing? Now run off before I do that to your legs, man. I can't man. fucking live moving. Well, I said you better get off. Run off. Run off. Oh, get, get, oh, get, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, fuck, nigga. Oh, thank you so much. How oh, can I ever repay you? Man, you got a nice little spot here. Ah, oh, thank you. Maybe you can uh, let me inside and you can thank me in private. What do you mean? Well, you know what I mean. Uh, you like to was impressed with that. I can get super heroic in the bed. I didn't mean sexual favors. I meant like, can I make you a pie? Do you want some lemons to take to your mom? Well, shoot, some of them lemons you smuggling in that dress would be pretty nice. That's disgusting. Yeah, I know. No! No? No! Well, I thought you were grateful, shoot, well, whatever. There's other hoes in these saving. Malik had reached a level of success in which he had never dreamed of. Recording with Drizzy, getting twerked on by Miley, and hanging out at Laker games with Jack. He even did commercials. Oh, hi there, Black Angus here. And today, I'm gonna teach you the best way to prepare your vegetables. Fuck vegetables. Eat Angus burgers, made from 100% Angus beef chuck. No, it won't make you a superhero, but it'll keep you from being a little bitch ass nigga eating veggies. Then he took the money he was earning and moved into a new place. And you know what comes with new money in a new place. A new girl. Malik went and got himself a bad bag of trail mix. I don't even know what that is. What is that? That crayon ain't in the box. This racially ambiguous beauty is Kayla Carpenter. She's a socialite. She's famous because her dad used to be a legendary R&B singer. But these two together were becoming the next big it couple in Hollywood. <sighs> Bae, we need to talk. <sighs> I know we've been getting kind of serious lately. I feel like it's only fair to let you know it's gonna be dangerous being with a cat like me. Mm -hmm. Doing the superhero thing, I'm bound to make enemies in the years to come, and I just feel like they're just gonna try to keep coming after the people I care about the most. Mm-hmm. Hey, you listening to me? <gasps> Baby, look. People Magazine said they were Hollywood's number one hottest couple. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm trying to tell you how your life might be in peril and you just talking about... You said hot hottest couple? Nope. Number one? Mm -hmm. Look, I look so cute. Oh, shit. Ha! <laughs> Suck a dick, Jayonce. <laughs> Regardless of what his motives are, at least Black Angus is protecting us. With him out there, with that fine ass girlfriend of his, the streets would be much, much safer. I'm Black Angus, and I want to know who got beef? Of course, with every great hero comes a villain. Black Angus. <laughs> that little motherfucker thinks he's such a badass. I'll show him what a real badass looks like. Wait till he sees me. <laughs> mirror! I need a mirror. I want to see what it looks like. Lights. Oh my God. What the hell, dude? What did you do to me? What do you mean what I do to you? You don't want to keep asking me to cut your hair in the dark. I want you to cut my hair, but not unzip it. I got you left me an open wound. Do you know what the fuck you're doing with them clippers? Man, see, I told you they had a little bite before I started. A little bite? It looks like I was in the movie Saw. You fired. Get the fuck out of my dungeon. Fired, nigga. I quit. I'm sick of listening to your goddamn monologues in the dark and shit. What the fuck? <laughs> you don't quit, bitch. You get fired. I don't need a shitty barber. The next time you see this nigga Black Angus. I thought this interview was supposed to be about me. It is, Mr. Black Anthony, sir. Yo, just... Black Angus, what the fuck wrong with you? Your birthdays were the worst days. Now you sipping champagne because you thirsty? Damn right I love the life I live. And you can get the fuck up out of my crib. Yo, Chief, I'm out here, man. 
I don't see any pack of niggas like you were saying. And there never was a pack of niggas. Who said that? <laughs>